All right, so this is our Heaney laser setup, uh, the helium neon laser. We're going to be demonstrating it to uh, high schools and other groups. Um, it starts with your gas-filled tube down here, uh, full of helium and neon. Um, you have a discharge lamp that's going to send light into the helium neon, and it's going to excite many of the atoms, creating a population inversion, um, where most of the atoms are excited and less are in the ground state. And so as they begin to fall, they're going to be spitting off light that's all at about just about the same wavelength because it's going to correspond to the transition of the helium and the neon. So that light is going to go through the tube and out to a mirror that's located right here. And this mirror is going to reflect almost all the light back. And so the light's just going to continue going through the tube, exciting the atoms as it goes. And as the atoms get excited, they're going to very quickly drop back down and release more light. So by sending in the single, laser, the single discharge lamp from the side, you get a continuous laser. The laser is created from the little light that's not reflected right here at the end mirror going out through and creating our image and um, our laser beam. All right, so as our laser is continuing and light is going through the tube, um, it bounces back and forth in slightly different ways as it goes. Uh, so the, the light comes in and it's not all together in a laser form. So it's bouncing throughout the tube and out to the mirror in a little bit of a different path. So as it gets bounced back, um, the, 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 the path differences between, um, between the different paths gets a little more. And so by changing the mirror on the very end, changing the distance by just a little, um, you can get what are called different modes out of the laser because um, you pick up an accent different um, path lengths. So as you can see, if I change the mirror distance by just a little bit, you can get a few, very little, or you can get a more complicated pattern, such as one of these. And now that, pa that pattern is created just by interference between the different path lengths going through the discharge tube. Now, as I've mentioned, we have our modes going through the um, laser tube. And as they go through, um, they're bouncing back and forth between these two mirrors, the adjustable one that we have here and the fixed one over on this other side. And now I'd like to show you what happens when we block a few of those paths as they go through. Um, now, they're going... The laser has a bunch of different paths in it. So as I cover a few of the paths, we see that the mode changes. Now I'm just covering a very little bit of the laser, not the entire thing. I can't keep too steady while I'm doing it. Um, but you can see that the modes change because different amount, different paths are being blocked as I move the paper in front of me. And if you block it completely? And if I block it completely, it's gone.